Hey everybody, what's up? How you doing? My name is Frank James Bailey. Welcome to my channel here. First thing I want to say is thank you. That's right. Thank you for watching my videos and sticking around. I would really appreciate it if you were to hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. The second thing is, if you don't know who I am, I'm a voice actor and a writer. As a writer, I've written three illustrated novels about a female superhero named Turkana. Turkana Book 1, Our New Home. Turkana Book 2, Dr. Q and the Banana Gun. And Turkana Book 3, Trinity's Traps. They're available on Amazon.com and Turkana.com. More details on that at the end of this video. Like I said a few moments ago, I'm also a voice actor. Now, mostly what I do is radio and TV commercials, podcast openings, explainer videos, stuff like that. But I also do videos for the YouTube channel, Channel Frederator, as well. My latest video that I voice for them is this one. Then versus now, My Little Pony. And speaking of My Little Pony, that's what this video is all about. I'm going to give you my review, my commentary, or my opinion on the My Little Pony spinoff called A Equestria Girls. Now, before I give you a history of Equestria Girls, I want to say one thing real quick. To me, it's pretty obvious that Equestria Girls was tailor-made to sell dolls. They saw an opportunity that little girls like dolls, and even though they like little ponies too, a lot of girls like to play with dolls, human dolls. So why not turn the ponies into humans? And so Equestria Girls was born. Anyway, here's a brief history on it. My Little Pony Equestria Girls, or simply known as Equestria Girls, was launched in 2013 by Hasbro with their movie My Little Pony Equestria Girls. It features all the main six from My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, that's Twilight Sparkle, Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Applejack, Rarity, and Fluttershy, and they're all basically human versions of their characters. So far, there are five major films. Equestria Girls, the first movie, came out in 2013. Then there was Rainbow Rocks, my personal favorite. Then in 2015, there was The Friendship Games. In 2016, there was Legend of the Everfree. In 2018, there's Forgotten Friendship. You can also find shorts for Rainbow Rocks and Friendship Games on YouTube, along with the summertime shorts as well, and the exclusive new short series also available on the Hasbro YouTube channel. One of the new characters that I assume was exclusively made for Equestria Girls is Sunset Shimmer. She was introduced in the first Equestria Girls movie. She was the antagonist, or the school bully. At the end of that movie, she became reformed, and you can really see her transformation, her, you know, development in Rainbow Rocks. That's why I love Rainbow Rocks so much. Her character arc is so well done in Rainbow Rocks. All right, now it's time for me to give you my score on Equestria Girls, or if you want to call it My Little Pony Equestria Girls, doesn't matter. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst and 10 being the absolute best, I give Equestria Girls a 7. Now, it's not the best cartoon I've ever seen, and obviously it's tailor-made mostly for girls, but I really enjoy the storylines. I really enjoy the characters, and for that, I give it a 7. So, are you a fan of Equestria Girls? If you are, or if you're not, please leave your comments in the comment section below the video. I'd love to hear from you. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you give this video a big thumbs up. Well, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching the video here. What I want you to do next is to go to my channel and click on subscribe. And also click on that notification bell too. You see, I don't post on a regular schedule like a lot of other YouTubers. I post my videos kind of whenever. And the best way to be notified is to click on that bell icon. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and if you're a fan of the books I wrote, Turkana, then you might want to join the Turkana fan club on Facebook. It's a Facebook group with over 2,500 members and still growing. If you want to find out more about Turkana, go to turkana.com. You can find out more about the characters there. You can also read samples of the books. I have about four chapters of each book on the website. And you can also find out where I'm going to be, too. Click on the appearances page, and you can find out what Comic Cons I'm going to attend next. Once again, that's turkana.com. Again, thanks a lot for watching my video. Talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.